Okay, so we've got three more to do. Might as well just pound them out. Up above me? Nope, inside. The greater number of our order live among the masses, hidden in plain sight. Even here in Tabor, our brothers and sisters pose as common folk. If any should reveal themselves to you, I beg you keep their true identity secret. It, that's fine. I mean, I don't know any of your identities anyway, so... <laughs> it's pretty easy. Lord Rosfield, is there aught the Undying might assist you with this day? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Go Have on. you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little and less, I regret to report. Never mind. I see. <laughs> Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization. As if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov, a small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, yeah, right. I'm sure that they would be okay. honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. Yes, I am, I am here for All lore. Right. I'll go and meet with them. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. Okay, now this is the kind of side quest I'm here for. A village built around an airship. Hold on. The Lost Wing. The inhabitants are just as friendly. Is there a book here? What was this? Cyclopedia of Valisthean Fabulosity? <laughs> Hell yeah, it is. Mm. Anything else of import? No, we have a fabulous encyclopedia. That's pretty much it. Okay. I mean, to say that's pretty much it is a... Uh, it's, it's very... Oh, hello. So they want me to go this way. Ah, oh, well, 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 well. Okay, we're going to a place I haven't been yet. Might as well murder along the way. That's my plan, at least. I mean, liberate. Oh, shit! Liberation! You know, we eventually got there. That's good for wildly swinging behind you. Yeah, okay. We got plants. Hello, plants! Ugh! 
Alright, good work, team. This guy. You wanna play with a dragon? Okay. I'll show you dragon, son of a bitch. Come on, man. Too slow. Why you gotta be like that? And Unleash the dragon. <laughs> Good night, dum dum. Just gonna let this do its thing. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's so nice. <laughs> oh, it just makes me so happy. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. I got stone skin now a little bit. Okay, we've got several ways to go and hell divers. And plants. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This. Oh, no. We will not do that. Porto, what are you doing? He's like standing back there, dude. My man. Oh, we're falling apart over here. This team. Okay. All right. What the hell? What the hell? I feel like I want to explore this area right over here. Oh, come on, fallen. Let a man explore! These big goobers. Come on. Yep, okay. Hook it, but like, all right. Y'all got any of them secrets or no? No, not really. Not even a chest, huh? Uh.
Bro, what? What the hell is that? Increase magic burst will damage. 15%. Man, oh man, oh man. All right, well, look, I like what we have at the moment. But... I don't know if there ever comes a time where I'm like, screw it. <laughs> I'm going all in. That might be it. Interesting. I'd have to math that whole situation out, to be honest. That's better. Also, there was this side path. Something about it speaks to me. I don't know what. I don't know why, but we're doing it. New areas? This is what I'm here for. Gobbles. No, no, no. No, 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 Weaver. Who knew the enemy that I would face the most would be cliff sides? My gracious to foes. Mother Nature herself. Who is... Oh, we got a big, big old hill gigas. That was a friend. Part. That's all ready. Not sure about that. Not sure about that at all. And that's maybe a chest up there. Maybe. Wouldn't it be lovely? Nope. This is just some camp for effect, for looking good, and not giving me loot. More goblins, mom. This guy, he's the problem. No, okay. It's Okay, and that takes me around. All right, that's fine. We'll weave around this way, go back. Might get a level out of doing all this stuff. Honestly, worth it. I operate in the school of if I can over-level an RPG, I shouldn't have difficulty on a boss. It's worked for 30-some years. It should, in theory, work for this. 
Next time I fight Barnabas, I'm gonna be like, what up, bro? He's be like, how'd you get so powerful? Like, killing goblins, bitch. Slap. <laughs> oh, hello. Stay down. See, now that's... We need more of that. We need more of that kind of teamwork. That was great. Ooh, we have a uh, waypoint down here. This is nothing. This is just... But what if it was something? Shit. Well, that don't fall down there. That's besides the fall. If you lived, zomboid. Okay. Everyone in this town, though, holy shit, they are just dead. Yeah, I see it over there. See it, game. Don't worry. Whatever that thing is, I'd say it's their leader. Nope, nope, nope. Don't be sending all these other guys over here trying to fight me. Enough of this. I wanted to get as much life back as possible, but I'll take a win.
Should have stayed in the past. These must be Cyril's colleagues. You have our thanks, stranger. Who are you? Ah, forgive me, my lord. I, I am the guy who does you. half the NPCs you in this game. You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? <laughs> we are archaeologians tasked with surveying this site. When the echoes appeared, our brothers here occupied their attentions. Thanks to them, and to you, we were, for a mercy, able to see our duty to its conclusion. And you call that a mercy? Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins. A duty of the highest import, as I'm sure you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you too? I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Now, to what do we owe the honor of your presence, Lord Marquis? You gonna tell me? Cyril told me of your work here, and I agree to collect your findings in his stead. I see. That is most kind. Pray, take them then, with our humble thanks. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart, as it does in ours. It's one thing to lay down your life for another, but for a survey... I suppose I'd better get this back to Cyril. This might be the first time I ever go just two items, and then over to key items, and... Scroll containing the preliminary findings, so it literally says nothing. Great. Okay. What if you gave me lore, though? Ah, oh, you are returned, my lord. I collected your colleagues' preliminary findings. Here, take them. My thanks. I shall study them and inform you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against Ultima. Cyril, your survey party suffered several losses in Kratov. Losses which could have been avoided, had the others not chosen to complete their work, instead of saving their friends. Were these your orders? No. This was their choice. Every Undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty. And should we die in discharging it, so be it. Even when death is avoidable. My lord, I fear that this is not a point over which it would be fruitful to argue. The Undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations, and your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. We live to serve the Phoenix. Our very order exists for that purpose, and that purpose alone. Cyril. I know that you and your brethren answer only to Joshua, but allow me to offer you a word of advice. It does not further the cause of the Phoenix to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Provide your survey parties with an escort, that they might live to do their duty for years to come. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. Please, for all our sakes. I thank you for your advice, my lord. If you will permit me to respond, our faith in his grace, Joshua Rossfield, is absolute. And we of the Undying will do what we believe is right to fulfill our duty unto him. 
as first shield to the Phoenix. I am sure you understand what it means to do one's duty. I do. Then we are of the same mind. And it is my hope that we may continue to do our duty together. That was the first quest in this game where I was like, yeah, whatever. I don't <laughs> let him do whatever, Clive. It doesn't. I could care less what I want or I couldn't care. Whatever the case may be, all I wanted was the lore. I got none of it. All I got was like a debate about doing duty versus like, don't care. Don't care. Where's my ultimate lore? <laughs> Give me the lore, you big goober. I don't care. Like, go die. I don't know you people. I met you like three chapters ago. Aye. Welcome, welcome. Okay, yep, got that. Let's do one, two. Three. Of course. Anything else? A fine choice. All right, next on our list of things to do. Imagine, yep. <laughs> I had a feeling. Take that, you naughty thief! And that! Stop it, Renz! It's dangerous! Clive! To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together, all is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's throats and firmly at the helm. Our stores are full and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. It's the mayor of Dalamil, dear child, and the vote hasn't taken place just yet. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. Speaking of menaces, there may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandits' attention. And they might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call a League of Outlaws, and they grow more organized by the day. But we'll fight them all off just like last time, no matter how many of them there are. Won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. Right, so what do I have to do? The longer we avoid <laughs> facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud. By finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause, and ensuring that they never do. Perhaps a certain Lord Underhill might be willing to lend us his aid once more? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. How could, How I, could I refuse? Ever refuse. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Victor will fill you in on the particulars. I have him stationed by the desert gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. <laughs> I'll go and speak with him. between a lord and a mayor? That's easy. One of them swings a sword, the other forges them. Right, right. A league of outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. A league of shadows. Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. 
I thought you'd have returned to Kostnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. Mm. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. Yeah, same. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver. The biggest? Just out there, across the dunes. Leave it with me. Most banditiest camp. The one with all the bandits. But also, boop. If those ne'er do wells want to band together, let them. There'll be no match for us. Y'all talk a big game when I come out here Good to do God. all the work. These ne'er do wells. Don't even know what'll hit them. Me, it's me, I'll hit them. Okay, there they are. Hello, boys. That must be the camp Vic mentioned. Come on, Antogel. Let's go wreck shop. That's him. The one who killed Doc and Fingers. Take his head off. What? What's that? <laughs> Oh, I thought I was going to kick that dude off the cliff. That would have been amazing. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hey, hi. Right ah, here. I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, but that's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimil. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalamo. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic, and without a crystal. But that's not possible. It is, if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still... All those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who was made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Fuck. I don't know where we go from here, but I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. You're right.
And now everyone knows. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. <laughs> well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubo. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. All lies I'll wager, just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something, and quickly. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a Dalmec born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. Everyone loves Lord I'll Underhill. I'll do what I can. Lubo, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. Why are you taking the bearer's side, Victor? Are you one too? No, I'm not. Why do they always have to make such a fuss outside? It's driving away our customers. He knew all along that he was playing us for fools. And we fell for it. We followed him. A bearer. Forgive me for disturbing you, but could I have a moment? Could you all time? stop being assholes for a minute? I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants. League of Shadows. That's right. I mean merchants. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. But what of his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalimil. And they will thank you not to get involved. Oof. The townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refused to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. All right. These people are too stubborn for their own Why good. Why the hell would Victor take the bearer's side? I assume the situation is hopeless? There's still hope. But... It's pretty hopeless. But perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lubo. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll talk some sense into them in the end, you'll see. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubo... Rosina would often tell me 
that steel does not lie, that a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. To yourself be true, that was her point. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right, no matter what others might think of me. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. Oh. Only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubor. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Victor. Forget it. Do what you will. Are you sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. Is this man about to become like the bandit king and get the townspeople to unite against him because it's the only way they'll ever unite? I mean, like, creative solution. Why is everyone being mean to Lubor? He didn't do anything wrong. Because people are stupid, kid. I'm going to go with him. Why didn't he tell us? What's this say? In exchange for one great sword, forged to the specifications here under, Red Rooster Trading will pay the sum of 1,000 gil. Damn. If you're going to try and convince me to stay, save your breath. I will not put those children at risk. If you're going to try and convince me to stay, save your breath. I feel like there will be a follow-up to this, much like in the other zone with the dame, but like, pff, I don't know. There's at least two potential follow-up things that I feel like we have to deal with. Potentially three, unless this is the last part of Martha's rest for the story. I don't know. Martha? Ah, Clive, I was just about to send for you. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own food. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if Eastpool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As have those poor bearers. They've lived their whole lives in servitude, but now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. So it's up to us to teach them. And if you're wondering why you, well, the Wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of Lake. Right, okay. Sir Wade's putting a brave face on it, but I think even he's starting to worry. And if he's likely to share those concerns with anyone, it's you. Okay. All right. Thanks. Wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. 
There. That should be enough to keep them in Gazal Greens for a few years at least. Gazal? Gazal Greens. Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. But they're hardy, they grow fast, and they fill a hole. Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. And chocobos love them too, which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get East Pool back on its feet, I mean all of us. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right, and they're just about bearable. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, Sir Wade'll know what to do with them. And if he don't, well, I'll go up there and show him myself. I'm sure you will. I can't... Like, it's blowing my mind. First off, this is the first time in a game, in a Final Fantasy game, a voice actor has, has named them. It's all greens, but for years, I called them Geishel. I don't even know how it's spelled. I'll build a barricade so sturdy. Not even remotely close to how the damn thing's spelled. <laughs> Just shaming myself. This game is all about shame for me. Okay. Wade? Do you think there's more goopy slime people? I heard the Guardian saying we're supposed to grow our own food. Yeah. That's the how it works. The vittles Martha sends us are more than enough for me. Wade? Ah, Lord Rossfield. What brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha. These are Gizal green seeds. Martha's keen to cut the apron strings, then, is she? I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed, only without the seeds. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom, of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far, subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves, bearers and Guardians alike. Unfortunately, we've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of... The Horde is closing in. They're coming, oh. so wait, all of them. Time it all. I thought we'd have more time. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, Sir Wade. The Horde. Akashic, a veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the Guardians might be able to defend the village, but... Now you're out of time. Precisely. If reinforcements from the rest arrive before they do, we may just scrape through, but I fear that's rather an enormous if. Just let me do it. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die, fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Are the bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians, what help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. You're right, my lord. I will... Appeal to them. My friends, I humbly beg your aid. We guardians are few and our enemies many. But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. 
Ooh. You would send us to the slaughter. To serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. And to think we trusted you. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. But it is worth fighting for. Yo, Martha coming in strong. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one, didn't you? This place, East Pool. This is your village. Your home! And if you don't fight to protect what's yours, you'll lose it! You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Everything. Your homes, your freedom, your very lives. So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die having never stood up for yourselves? Or will you fight like free men and women? Hell yes. Hell yes. <laughs> she raised the frying pan. You gotta be in. Right. Give me a sword. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine, or die trying. We all will. Free men and women, fighting together. Yeah. 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 For Eastpool! For Eastpool! Damn, that frying pan did the trick! Thank you, Martha. Don't mention it. Just promise me one thing that you'll show them how freeborn fight. <laughs> Gladly. Now, what if she was part of the party? That would be amazing. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Thanks to you. Me? Oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady, we're ready. So what's the plan of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can, steadily retreating all the while. You're going to lure them into the village? I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our choosing. With luck, that point will be the village square. The perfect place for our most able warriors to surround them and fall upon them. Cool. And for you and I to finish them off. A sound plan, but one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. I'd say you have both in abundance await, but you'll be needed. Please, leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you have all the glory. Sir Wade! They're here! Then you know what you must do. We work together. Everyone playing their part. Each shielding the other that no man might fall. That Eastpool might live on. For Rosaria! For Rosaria! We've no time to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask. And I will do as you ask. 
Sir Wade. Suppose what a better do our bit too, then, eh? Right you are, Martha. <laughs> right you are, Martha. Right you are. Uh, bring them to me. Let's go. The calm before the storm. And here it comes. These guys screwed up. Not let this village fall. I saw that. I saw that, Torgo. That was pretty amazing. I like that. Some. Let's go. Where the hell is that guy? Oh no, chocobos. The most deadly of creatures. Oh no, these are raptors. Alright, well. They have chocobo vibes. And really, aren't all birds raptors? Checkmate. <laughs> yeah. Looks like that's the last of them. Lord Rossfield, change of plan. What is it? Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride and is headed in their direction. Well, the better half of her guard is here. So wait. How many Akashic remain in East Pool? Hard to say. My men are still facing some resistance, but I think the worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to fall back and... No. Let them finish the job. Nah, I got this. You stay here too, Sir Wade. Your men need you. I'll go after the Curl. Join me only when East Pool is won. If you're sure, my lord. May the Founder protect you. Oh, I'm sure. I want this level, damn it. <laughs> so close. Let's go. Alright. Okay. Alright, so it's just down the road, eh? Come to tell me an Akashic curl's heading towards the rest. Get yourself down there. We can handle things here. Next one's mine. I might the curl was sighted on Rhiannon's ride back towards Martha's Rest. Found a speed, you, my lord. East Pool will be safe in our hands, my lord. You have my word. Let's go. Faster! Just gonna yoink. Out of the way, goblin. Out of the way, many goblins. Straight home now. Okay. There it is. With me, Toggle. Okay. Okay.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Not a lot of experience, though. 420. Ugh. The guy got smoked out, bro. <laughs> All right. Stupid. Back to East Pool. Oh. Great. Great. Hey, hi. Lord Rossfield. The curl, is it? It's dead. Thank the founder for that. And for you, my lord. We were able to eradicate the rest of the horde. I have guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but all seems quiet for now. I hesitate to say it, but I think it might be over. I think it might. We did it. We saved Eastpool. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. Damn you right. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. We didn't know what it meant to protect it. But now we do. We really do. Forgive us, Sir Wade. You and your people saved us. And still we doubted you. But there's no doubt in my mind anymore. We're free men now. So we have to start acting like it. We have to fight to protect what's ours. To protect Eastpool. And we shall. We all shall. Together. This is our home. And if anyone or anything tries to take it away, they'll have us to answer to. Come on then. Let's get to work. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. Okay, okay. I like the dichotomy between all the different villages and towns we're seeing and how they're all reacting to this. I think it's pretty they're it's not pretty slaves interesting anymore. No. They're Rosarians. Your father took pity on the bearer's plight. And I believe if he were still with us today, this is what he would have wanted. I believe you might be right. I shall remain here, my lord, and do what I can to help rebuild the village. After all, this is my home now, too. And I could hardly call myself an East Poolian if I didn't pull my weight. I think you'll find it's East Pudlian, Sir Wade. <laughs> but you should be proud all the same. I'll have to pull my weight too. Can't have the rest getting outclassed. Speaking of which, I ought to be getting back. Can we continue to count on your support, Martha? Of course. And I'd be counting on yours too. Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Indeed we have. And Clive, come by the Golden Stables when you get the chance. I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. Hell yeah. All right. I will. Martha got like a crew. <laughs> Lord Rossfield, do you remember our very first mission together? Hell yes. Clearing the goblins from the Stillwind Marshes. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> There's one side that I shall never forget. You, facing off against that giant marble. Not a trace of fear on your face. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when I felt like giving up. When the odds seemed so stacked in the enemy's favor, I thought I may as well just lay down my sword and surrender. But every time, I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means to be a shield. Know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Thanks to you. So Wade, you have always been a true shield. I know that Eastpool, and indeed all of Rosaria, all East be safe in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest of the world will be safe in yours. 
<laughs> I'll do my best. Hell yes. Hell yes, Sir Wade. I was going to say that East Poolians sounded Dr. Seussian, but East Poolians even more so. Thank you again for all you've done for me and mine, my lord. You may rest assured that East Pool will be safe in my hands. Thanks to you. Hell yeah. We defended East Pool once. And we can do it again. And again. And again! Thank you, my lord. You showed us what it means to fight for what's ours. And we shall strive to follow in your footsteps. We couldn't have done this if we hadn't all pulled together. Even you and Martha chipped in. We owe you a debt of gratitude, my lord. I'm not saying I absolutely love the way everyone says Martha. Martha, love it. No, I am saying I love that. Is what? I, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying it. The hero returns. It's lucky you came by when you did, eh? Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. I just did what I could. And it's only right that you get rewarded for it. Take it before I change my mind. Thank you, Martha. So, Eastpool's finally back on its feet again. And a home to free bearers. Who'd have thought we'd see the day, eh? Well, it was your idea. I know that, but I never stopped to think what it would mean. Bearers in charge of themselves, thinking for themselves, working for themselves. Like your hideaway, but not even hidden away. Though I suppose the rest ain't much different nowadays. You know... Bearers living free like that reminds me of when I first met Sid. Loath as I am to recall that particular day. I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What happened? Well, if you really want to know, I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. He showed up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. Founder knows what he thought I was doing with them. Running a hunt, poking around in their innards. Something awful, anyway. Me? I thought he was a new constable. Thought the game was up. But somehow we both managed to work out what each other was about. And before I knew it, the cheeky arse was rattling on at me about how I was doing it all wrong. After all my hard work... Pfft, Told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. That my bearers were still dying as slaves. Got right under my skin, it did. Told him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. And do you know what he did? He smiled. And then he laughed. And then I did the same. We made a pact that day. That whenever one of us was in need, the other would always be there for him. And you were. Well, we both wanted the same thing. To make life better for bearers. Just like your dad. Do you know, I was born right around the time Elwyn became Archduke. Growing up, I saw how he tried to change things. He certainly didn't lack for ambition, that one. Indeed. But the loftier one's ambitions, the harder they are to achieve. Which is why those of us who follow in their footsteps need to finish what people like Sid and my father started. Suppose you're right, aye. And if we don't manage it, there's always them who come after us. Good thing we've got a few half-decent sorts waiting in the wings, eh? It's almost enough to give you a little bit of hope. Hmm. <laughs> Just a little. Anyway, enough nattering. Better get back to work. Let's see about making everyone some dinner, shall we? The least the folks who saved Eastpool deserve is a hot meal. And you and me ain't gonna save the world on an empty stomach neither. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Great. Great ending to a quest. 
hit us with the sad music. Almost a level, frankly. Here for it. Oh, add it to my sad music room. Awesome. Awesome. You know what? Real quick. Don't worry, Clive. You went alone in this fight. Whenever you find yourself in need, be it of money, men, or a bowl of heart stew, the stable's door is always open. Wonderful. Now, before I get caught up in it... I've got a few rooms going spare now. You want a bed for the night? You speak to Martha. I just jump this. Yo! Jump down here. Yo! Oh, nope. Nope, no jumping. Playing it safe, I see. The Clive Rossfield way. Alright. Give me my level, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Oh, I thought I dodged it. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Give me my level, you sons of bitches. There we go. Okay. Lovely. Now let's leave. <laughs> let's, now let's leave. And I guess go right here. We got this, and this, and that's it, huh? Still not there. Damn. All right. Come back. Mm, the stew's awfully thin. This dude right here just... My man. Those people needed you. Like, don't worry, I'll go back and help real soon, my lord. Thanks again for helping get the dungeon in order. Had you not rode gallantly to our rescue, I reckon poor Owain and them lot would still be stuck still in Bilgewater over the Bonner. Yep. There's always room for improvement, though, so don't get your knickers in a knot should I come a knocking at your door chamber door looking for more spheres and ash and whatnot mid it is hard to believe theo is gone every morning i wake i expect him to be there in the stables watering the birds or readying the packs yet he is not and everything and it is everything i can do uh not to fall to my knees and weep still i know i have to move on but that doesn't mean i have to forget my brother and I built all we have here together, so as long as I still have the caravans, he will ever be with me, and I shall honor him in death by carrying on what he strove for in life. That is what I choose. Do you think that sword was for her? I was wondering if maybe it was for her brother before he died, but maybe it's for her. What happened in East Pool with the Bears and the Guardians has been a long time coming, and I'm proud that it could finally happen here in Rosaria. The Duchy of Old may be no more, but Archduke Elwyn's dream still burns in the hearts of many, and it is through victories such as these that the fire will spread. This is only the beginning, Clive, but a fine beginning it is. Martha. My amazing wall. The emblem of Martha's Rest, personal fiefdom of the Lady of the Golden Stables, and an island of safety and security in a sea of anything but. It shows a sleeping chocobo. And the guardians and bearers of Rosaria can too rest easy, save for the knowledge that they have a friend in Martha. 
the emblem of the Crimson Caravans, porters of wide renown based in the market town of Boklad. It depicts a laden chocobo. After the death of her brother and confidant Theodore, Eloise chose to continue the work they had begun together, freeing bears from slavery, just as she had freed him so many years before. I'm shocked there's so much more still. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. And what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. Yeah. You underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless, and when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. I was about to say, when are we going to get back to Dion? Okay. Those ruins are cool as shit, though. <laughs> it's awesome. There's the real MVP. <gasps> Medicine girl! Don't move. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. The 
fiend works from the shadows. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them, or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? The medicine girl out here just saving the world. Because you know Dion's about to play a huge role in this. Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. <laughs> She's you still trying. Take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Don't know. About the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes. It's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you come in! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Somebody give me the ultimate lore. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. You've seen more of the world these past five years than most do in a lifetime. It's a shame you never had a moment to enjoy it. Yeah. Sounds like Clive. All right, we got more of these. <gasps> okay. It's not too bad. Although it potentially could be this guy. Hey there, I got a bunch more things for you to kill. Mamma mia. All right, it's not actually a bunch more. It's another S rank. Two whole S ranks. This one ap appears to be harder than this one. Dragon, lion, score. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, that'll, that'll be a thing to fight. The Velcroy. Somewhere in the Velcroy, huh? Great. All right. Thanks, pal. You're welcome. Go enjoy. Uh, I will. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. 
Is How everything close we've am received I? and everything promised. So close. Wow, I thought this was, and this is actually the furthest one. Fallen Enigma. Okay. All done? A lot to do still, apparently. Who would have guessed? Unless some of these are dropping, you know, the 50, 60 as a normal quest. Stews awfully thin. Okay, and Tally makes four. Clive, there's but one crystal left needs cracking, but one man who can do it. See that you don't miss, Otto. Thanks, Otto. I imagine if I go here, I'll eventually be sent over to Tomes to get that lore, please. Still say it were a compliment. Say it all you like. It doesn't make it true. Ladies. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Mm. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't see my ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters. <laughs> all right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? I'm not gonna. I, I wouldn't. Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the last king. Understand him. And you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas. And barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. 
Much of the continent has already been lost to the Blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right, bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. <laughs> Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. Good answer. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Hmm. Hmm. So I feel like... Let's go back here. Back again? How may I help you today? Here you are. So I feel like the situation here is... They said that Barnabas came from beyond, like... Way down here is he somewhere, right? And so, or maybe down here is he somewhere beyond the South Sea. So, he's from the continent, perhaps? Which makes me wonder what's going on in the continent in relation to Ultima. But, so the crystals are here, and he was sent here with Ultima powers. And I guess, like, driven by his weird, whatever's going on with, with Ultima Mom... And he was tasked with securing this area and then finding the vessel or getting the vessel ready or whatever the case may be. And then once the vessel is, is found, then launching attacks and, you know, forcing the vessel down this path of like, hey, you know, why don't you come fight me? It's all part of my plan. That kind of thing. I feel like that's a safe, good. safe bet. Clive. Gonna How clear, may I help you gonna today? clear the board of on course. this. Yeah, come on, Dion. We need you. We need you back, Thus buddy. This ends today's lesson. Covered in nicks and lumps. to assume otherwise well then that changes everything does it <laughs> Clive, tell me something must listen to this Lorsman, tell him do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima well it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject and what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of his grace you will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate but while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find a more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins. And though its popularity eventually waned on storm, Hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm. What of ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now, why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that 
you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. Okay, so we're going to the lore. I'm gonna get this damn lore. If it it's... please, Your Grace, might I one day borrow the Chronicles for a short while? Of course, Lawsman Hippocrates. You need but ask. Mid said I could ride the Enterprise next. No, she didn't. She said I could. Well, you both can. It's a big ship. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but it's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. I might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. I was genuinely like, there better not be a million quests. I got, I gotta know, I gotta know. Okay, it's just, it's just that one. Okay, I was like, no. <laughs> All right, Phoenix, heal thyself. How do you split the sea? Please, Your Grace, stay strong. Today, Clive visited the infirmary to have me dress a laceration on his left forearm. I cleaned and stitched the wound and instructed him to rest the arm so that it could heal. But not an hour later, he was leaving on another mission. This must be the hundredth time he disobeyed my instructions. The next time he comes in for treatment, I'm tying him to a bed. Uh, it's so good. Uh, my Lord Marquis. Uh, yeah, what's up? It was the greatest honor of my life. To be appointed protector to his grace. I have served him in that capacity since he first began his journey across Valisthea. The purpose of which is, was twofold. To further the Undying's knowledge of Ultima, and to further his grace's knowledge of you, my lord. 
After he learned of your survival, your brother insisted that we try to trace your movements. Thanks to the investigations of my fellow acolytes, we learned of your having taken the name Sid. But now... Our journey together is at an end. His grace bids me remain here and protect those you and he hold dear. So I bid you. My lord, if I might be so bold, please look after him in my stead. Your companions are kind indeed. Everyone has been most welcoming. Lady Taya has been especially gracious, though I know something of the medical arts. It's hardly enough to warrant the acclaim of one so skillful. I must admit. At first, I doubted that her praise was sincere. We undying are trained in what few simple skills might serve us in the field, but there is certainly no praise for those who excel in such endeavors. But I see now. That this is your way. You encourage each other, that each might lend their strength to the cause, no matter how seemingly slight their contribution. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Taya and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. Yeah, 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 I'll do it for bro. For Joshua. Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. Okay, I think I know exactly where this is at. I think. We ran past here. It's probably where the the fake version of the Magus sisters were, right? Oh, not even remotely. <laughs> nope. Nope. I thought it was going to be down here. Well, I was way off. Good girl. Yeah. I mean, it's on the other side of them. like a relative thing yeah I mean it's on the other side of the like it's there also there's something over there by it that I am not sure what it's gonna be I think there's something over there oh 
Oh yeah, they're booting me off. Okay, we're fighting. How to find our stone wart. Yote mentioned blood red petals. Ooh, we got Angie boys. Just my luck. Well, I'm not picking anything till they're gone. There's only one thing for it. All this. Okay, are we good? There we go, and you. Let that do its thing. <laughs> this one. Oh, come on! I was about to say, just grab it all. Thankfully, when I go back to town, I think it just do it. straight up heals me. Let's get these back to Yote. So, that's pretty good. Also, that was so fast. I'm here for those side quests. Yeah, 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 all right. Five minutes in and out? Great. Covered in nicks and lumps, the Lord. Yote, I brought back all the stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and His Grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so. But I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. But also, I'm just going to go be reckless again. Speaking of... Yeah, I see you down there, little notification bubble. How may I help you today, Clive? Give me that thing you got Here's there. Here's everything we've received and everything promised. We are the shadows that quicken in the firebird's wake, and from the shadows do serve our lord and those who would be his wings. Rain you earned of this. A swift shot. Which Come is again. what? Come again. I may have more for you. I'm hoping that's what I'm here for. All right, that's 
Ice Breath. This is lowers charge time for charge magic. <sighs> it's whatever. It's it's whatever. Is something wrong? Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. All right, back we go. I'll be honest, I'm proud of myself. Everything's done, wrapped up. The land long having fallen victim to the spreading blight. Now even the most meager of scrub struggles to draw life. They can't say scrub. <laughs> I'm over here like, I don't want no scrub. scrub. By the way, also known as a busta. <laughs> draw life from ether-drained cliffs that loom above the barren coastline. Also known as a busta. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, oh she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. Then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. <sighs> Think I found us a trail. <laughs> uh, did I miss something? Brothers. Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, boy. Okay. Is this a map or is this. Footfalls in Ash. Is this like always wanted to visit Ash? We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. 
That castle over there looks inviting enough. Yeah, sure. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Yo, this music is... Ooh, okay. Wow. All right. Well, two things. One, first off, I love that everyone just sends Clive to, like, go do stuff on his own. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, all right, I'll save the day again. So him thinking he can do it by himself, I believe that. But also, two, and the most important thing, are we about to beat this game with the power of friendship? Because that's 100% what's going to happen, right? Like, we, we're on the same page. The bad guy's like, I got nobody. I don't need nobody. And Clive's like, I don't need nobody. But then he's going to realize that, like, his power comes from his friends. You know what's going to happen. That's straight out the Final Fantasy XIV playbook. thinking there might be something around here, but rocks and desolation. I actually kind of like that. It does go a long way to say kind of what the blight will do to the world. Although grass, still resilient. Although it's probably gray of grass. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav. Orcs, hello? Oh, this Oof, place dollar. is as dead as Greek as ghost. <sighs> A chilling vision of things to come. Oh boy, yeah, yeah, we got those guys. What is up here? Clutch mine. Okay, we get new stuff just at this point in the game? Yep, okay. Which makes me wonder, how much is actually left, bro? I knew I smelled something. I see only orcs and a cache here. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time. Dude, I hate to break it to you, but these are the villagers up there. I'm gonna make that guess. I feel like they don't quite understand that yet, even though they definitely should. Okay, we got orcs. And we got multiple directions. <laughs> What? This guy does not go down. Okay. Oh, well, now he does. This is the wraparound. Is there anything uh, over there? They can't even leave a chest. They can't even leave a chest for me. Come on. At least leave it for Gav. At least leave it for Gav. That guy. All right. Go in on this big boy. Stay
Well, we found one. I'll take it. Sharp fangs. None sharper than my board portal. Um, nope. That's... Okay. Really a whole bunch of nothing here. Yes. I can buy exactly one nothing with that. That, uh... <laughs> Man, was like, enough of this. Okay. Something up this road, maybe. bunch of nothing. A whole bunch of nothing. Uh-oh. Or famed boss. An amazing boss fight. Right here. Ooh. Right here. An S rank named Gorgamoth, the world slayer. Right? Looking for someone up above. Oh! Oh no, no, I was joking. I'm I feel very unprepared. Pandemonium If I have to run, I'm running. I'm gonna let you know right now. It's the king of the castle. All 
Alright, you son of a bitch. Let's go! much easier than I thought it would be. Maybe I'm overleveled. Maybe I'm just the best player who ever played this video game. But that was awesome. Also, I don't know what this is for. Do I have a recipe that needs stained loin? What would I? Why would I wear that? Your reign is at an end. That was cool as shit, though. Okay. I was joking around. I was like, one day we'll come back here and do this. Like, I'm not too concerned about monsters and bosses and what I guess I shouldn't have been concerned at all feeling ballsy someone go tell Nectar that I am the best Also, I did have Gav. Oh, and the Phoenix. Oh, and Torgal. It's Camber all over again. Where the hell are the Royalists? Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clive.
Yes, 100%. That's no peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust you'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Hey, you never know. It might not be a nest of slavering monsters. <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets. Let me and go if we with are you. To blast him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. You sure about this? No, I about want them leaving secrets. my brother on his own. Of course. Mostly. Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. <gasps> I want lore! Give it to me! I'm s this is me, I'm lore dehydrated. Mm, I just want a little drop, a little drop of lore. Please, sir, may I have a drop of lore? Just one little drop of law, sir. I'm ever so parched. A lot of teasing. A lot of like, well, if we just found out more information. I'm trying! <sighs> Ugh, this place reeks like a marble's asshole. But also mud crabs! Well, I'm guessing it's not the smell that will kill us. Stay down! <laughs> <laughs> Poor mud crabs. They're just out here living their life, being little crabby boys. Also, this area got very big. That's the town, huh? There's a lot to explore here. And this little doohickey here. Alright, let's go to the doohickey first. What level is everything here? 36. Where are you guys going? Where is the... Where's the rush, fellas? So I guess the assumption is the game thinks I'll be around level 36. <laughs> Fools. I'm back here, you bird! Uh, where am I in relation? Uh, Doohickey is over here. Is Doohickey a cave? What is, what is? Oh, no, I'm past it. I see you, Tortle. I see you, Adamant Toys Boy. Is it up above? What the hell am I? Oh, it's 
back this way. Where are you at, doohickey? Huh? Well, well, well. Of course. What? Time out. Hold up. What? What? Well, of course it's not better, but... Oh, come on now. <laughs> okay, well, if I didn't earn this, this would have been a good ass... It looks cool. Hold on. What's the... What's it look like? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Although it doesn't really fit, like... Clive's vibe, but like, oh yeah. All right, nice. Good find. I'm not gonna do this. No, quit. But I will mark its location. Alright, big honk and chonker, let's go. Oh, I forgot. Head only. does its thing. Oh yeah, just blast him right in the head. Laser blast directly to the head. Dude, you want to help me kill a portal? Loverly, loverly, loverly. Alright, I mean, I'll take it. I was hoping for some type of necklace situation or something. Something wacky. Also, Ambrosia is a magical beast. Because she can just, like, pop up over here. No problem. Don't question it. Ambrosia is here. Have no fear. She won't disappear. She's always got your rear. What am I doing? <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. Ow. Alright, do your thing. Do that thing you do so that I can come here and attack you. My love of that ability has no bounds. I love it. 
love it so much. I'm going to... That's best. Do that. Just in case. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep exploring this place. There's a lot to see and kill. In theory. I'm having a hard time because every once in a while I see those little flashes of the ether. And I keep thinking, oh treasure, but it's not. Although the real treasure, mud crabs. It's so Okay, this guy came down from the mountains. Alright, do that thing. Do that charge that I know you like to do. Now get blasted! It's just beautiful. Maybe the greatest thing that ever was. Since my victory over that Tyrant King guy. Cause F that dude, that was awesome. Take it. Um, yeah, we're kind of back to where we were. Doesn't appear like there's much. We can go down the middle. I think all that's in the middle of these birds. Oh, and an adamantoys. Is he guarding something? Yo, you guarding something? <laughs> Only my friends. Okay. <laughs> Understand. <laughs> Not sure about fighting this guy next to a tree stump, but here we are. Nice, get blasted. I tried to make something happen there. That guy's shell sucks. All right, and he squirts. Get out of there, gal. Thought for sure I would be able to do that. Okay. And squirt. Take it. And then, whatever's around the corner, and that's. Oh, more birds! I thought for sure we were bird free. That's one. <laughs> one very wascally bird. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm assuming... Uh-oh, was there anything up there? Trust, did you see correctly? Nope. Nope. Although, this looks like some sort of dragon spine thing. Yo, it is! It is something! Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, it's uh, the skeleton of that thing we fought in the forest way back when. Or I guess a stone version of it. Was it a basilisk? I can't remember what it was. It was long ago. Which makes me think we're going to have to fight one of those at some point. Mm. Okay, let's go down here and we'll cut through the middle. Worth it. I said worth it. Maybe not. Maybe not entirely worth it. Is that a trifle? Are you a trifle? Oh, this the trifles. Yep. Hello, friend. Well, he does it twice. Awesome to remember. I see, I see what this is. Trouble in Toontown is what we're we're doing now. Just stakes. All the big boys. Slime monsters. One, two. Jump, I'm gonna do this. And he's gonna try to bite me, and I'm gonna do this. Oh no, I wasn't thinking! Jesse! I got so caught up in the violence. just a bird who was looking like, hey, what if I get involved with that? Maybe. What if? <sighs> More slimes. Holy moly. These guys. That's all ready. There better be some there better be someone alive in this town selling shit. That's all I can say. They got me involved in all sorts of drama. <laughs> Jesse.
<laughs> Poor Gab. Flying across the screen. God! <laughs> fuck these trifles. Absolutely fuck them. <laughs> They're so many. Oh, yeah, no, this is like the, hey, you wanted a level? Okay, have fun, dum dum. feeling I'm certainly clearing things. That was like one insane fight to the next. Oh, come on! <laughs> Get kissed by whole butt. Now we're back here. All right. <laughs> now that I've killed every slime in the swamp. Clive, what are we doing? Clive, what are we doing? Clive, what are we doing? <laughs> Thank God Torval's here.
So I can't really get over to that area. And this, I'm taking it. I feel like I've earned all the glowies. You were a slime turtle. I'm not gonna lie. I looked down there. I saw something move. Oh God damn it! This game is out to get me. <laughs> I feel just all sorts of emotionally abused by this game. <laughs> Okay. We good? Game? <laughs> I'm not even gonna. Just, <laughs> just brutal. Just ruthless. This entire damn thing. There's a slime on this damn bridge. I'm gonna be awfully upset. Oh, how much breath? Uh. Don't look down, Toggle. I looked down. I mean, it looks like a... Well, it looks like it has the potential to be a town. I was about to say it looks like a real-ass town, but... What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. Okay! Oh, my God. 
Perry. What the what? Here they come. Actually, we can hit this guy. Oh, ow! Whoa, shit! That's bad. Look, Thank neither you. do I, buddy. Dragon. This is a dragon. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, okay. Don't tell me there's like one person. All right, it was one person, but not like in a good way. I was hoping for like an Akashic vendor. Like it's a living. You know what I mean? Send more dogs. Come on, man. Town is clean. <sighs> Gav, Gav, <laughs> Gav, Stop. don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Uh. Have you come to watch, Odin? Bound for stone here. Good. 
My master awaits you in the capital. Though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Don't say that, bro. Why you are 0 for 2. With this! Don't do that. Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? <sighs> We're in Fortnite. Oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? We seek an audience with the king. If His Majesty wants me to come and ask him, then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition, <laughs> we don't even know where the fucker went. How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Maybe there's something here we can use. I hope! So we're just stuck in town? Lovely. Maudlin Mason. Alright, I'm gonna keep on keeping on, but... Oh my god. Up those. I thought we got them all. So did I. Hey, that's a win. I'll take those hides. So, we do have, I mean, like, these are here. Here's a question. Could I teleport out of here? Like, back to here? Some plan, dum-dum. Unless it's keeping me out of going further. Right, okay. So, it's, it's not that way. It's in front of me. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, hello? There 
there's still one person alive? Get out of town. Please. Please. Please, no. Uh, miss. <laughs> Whoa. Easy. Easy. We're not turned, all right? This fruit Edda, and forgive me for asking, but what went on here? It all started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by the ether, till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came, and I didn't know what to do. Grandparents told us when we misbehave. We got time. About how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath. The end of the world. You said the others went mad. But where did they go? They. they all left. East to the tower, to reverie. The elders, the healer, the blacksmith, my husband. You're thinking he did this? Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. But then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? Good question. The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. Mm. You mean... It's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower, that's where we'll find the king. Hmm. That is also a name that is used quite frequently by uh, Yoshi P and the team for important characters it. or semi-important. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be.
The mural is complete. Ultima and his vessel, Ifrit. Garuda, Ramu, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. But where is the Phoenix? By the founder. <laughs> so that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? So that's how it's going to be, then. I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? <sighs> Aye. Don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. <sighs> Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. <sighs> oh yeah, we're getting one of those who thinks he has to do it alone. But like, really? Power of friend. It's happening! I've never been more certain 